Good morning. It is early morning, the third of uh, straighten up a little bit. The third of uh, February, two thousand and twenty-two, and we want to look at Waterloo Solitaire from Worthington Publishing, brought to you by the same people that did Bismarck Solitaire, which I even had a bit of a playthrough here on Bismarck. Bird. Gosh, Bismarck. Um, I even had a playthrough on here of that, and it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good game. A really exciting game. And I've told y'all in the past, I love book, uh, book games, right? Um, that's one thing. The old Steve Jackson, Ian Livingston book games, I loved back in the day, and I always thought war games missed an opportunity to totally do. Uh, um, used a book format and here in 2022 and late 2021 I really think that they started to utilize it in some places Worthington Publishing does Bismarck Solitaire I'm assuming that um, it got enough support to do Waterloo Solitaire um, and then there was Fields of Normandy which I've been playing uh, so I played and which shocked me even more than Bismarck Solitaire, Bismarck Solitaire it was really an interesting game, and and fields uh, the fields of Normandy was even a better game. Um, of course, it wasn't done by Worthington Publishing, but and then you got Worthington here, who gives you Waterloo um, Solitaire, and I'm probably going to be just a bit more uh, critical of Waterloo Solitaire than I would Bismarck Solitaire because I've played a lot of. Waterloo games, a ton of them, miniatures and um, miniature games and board games. Right when I got in to war gaming back in the day as a as a young kid, um, the old grogs were really playing Napoleonics, and if you weren't into Napoleonics for whatever reason, they really didn't think you was that serious about war gaming. So I always wanted to. Uh, so that it, that did something to me. That gave me that influenced me in some kind of way. So I always wanted to. Uh, do the Napoleonic stuff um, and Waterloo such a the Waterloo campaign and, and the battle um, of Waterloo such a great uh, story right you have the allies and of course um, you know Wellington and Prussia I've always loved playing the French side um, I've always loved playing um, you know sending in the columns and so on against that the, the thin red line right um, I like playing the Allied side as well. You know, you, that's that's one that I think sometimes it degenerates into um, Wellington holding or the British holding on until the Prussians get there, and then that's. Uh, but but I've always liked playing it. So let's look at this and let's see what's going on. The Battle of Waterloo is the most famous battle of the Napoleonic era. Yeah, yeah. This was the uh, you know. Waterloo, yeah. This was the first and only time Napoleon and Wellington faced each other in battle. The victor Wellington knew how close the outcome swayed. Well, of course. Eh? Waterloo Solitaire has 24 games. You take the role of Napoleon commanding the French army, French Imperial Army, I might add, for 12 games against an opposing allied uh, Auto, uh, autonomous player, player side, referred to as an allied bot. Okay, so we're talking about bots. And you take the role of Wellington for 12 games, commanding the allied army against the French bot side. Each opposing bot side is rated for its skill, challenge, Skill challenging for four games, challenging for four games, veteran for four games, and tough for four games. All you need to provide is a die, a pin, and a sense of adventure to play. Yeah, no doubt. And this is one of my uh, uh, this is one of my favorite. The Hundred Days campaign is not really my favorite campaign, if you want to call it that. Uh, pr much prefer the Russian campaign, but Waterloo itself, I think, is a, a just an interesting battle and just a one that I think all war gamers have played. My own this is this will be again the second time I say this. 
Uh, that's just a lot complaint. The con table of contents, the rules, and so on. Um, I don't like. I don't like that they're sideways here. I don't mind the maps to be sideways, but the layout of that I just do not like for whatever reason. Now, let's look at how to win. The French player wins um, at the end of any turn where they eliminate all units in two of the three following allied formations. Right wing, left wing, or the reserve. Okay. The French player can lose the game at the end of any turn when all the units, including any reinforcements, move from for the four core for the French one core or the French two core are marked out of the game. All right. French player loses if any turn ends and seven or more Prussian units are on the board. Woo. Note, eliminated Prussian units do not count towards this number. All right. The French lo uh, lose at the end of turn 18 if they have not achieved victory. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I guess that's really one of the reasons I like playing the French side in normal games, normal Waterloo game. Um, uh, we haven't talked. I haven't talked a lot about play style, but I can be somewhat an aggressive player when playing games, and um, even to the point of, hey, I might lose, but I'm going to be aggressive because, um, I, you know, anytime I go, anytime I'm just playing to not lose, I, I seem to do really bad. Allied player versus French bot. That's how to win. The allied player wins if his right wing and left wing still have units remaining on board at the end of turn 18. The allied player loses uh, uh, the game at the end of any turn when all the units, including any reinforcements from reserve for the allied right wing or allied left wing, are marked out of the game. Okay. The allied player can win the game at the end of any turn if he eliminates all units in the French, one core or and two core. One core and the two cores there. Wow. All right. So this looks like France versus the what's a map? Typical typical Waterloo esque map, right? Um, obviously the French blue and that red, the Allies, the British really. You know, that thin red line, as we call it, as we call it, as they call it. Let's see the sequence of play. French player selects one action. Let's get a little closer there. French player selects one action. Roll one die to determine the allied action. Play apply the allied action. Play the French action and allied action effects. Mark turn, begin new turn. Okay. Kind of cool. Let's look at the I like these here. I like these these quotes. In war, morale is everything. Absolutely true. In war or in sports even. I mean, uh, morale and uh, a lot of people don't talk about this, but um, um, momentum. And momentum is one of those things that Hard to put your finger on. It's hard to really realize that you've lost momentum or that you gained momentum. And, and the momentum's a thing that I don't think is talked about enough because it's almost it's so hard to put your finger on, right? But momentum and and um, and morale, absolutely. All right. So I do love those quotes. Here's a French. Here's the. I'll stand firm, yeah. Allied player selects one action. Roll one die to determine by fr the, the French action. Play apply the French action. Okay. Play the action in French effects. Mark turn. Begin new turn. This looks different in the sense. I don't know if you're. What are you. Are you using a pencil here? Yeah, a pen. A pen and a sense of a pen and a sense of adventure. Okay. Um, all right. 
All right, well, it's not a lot. I didn't bring you a lot tonight, I guess, but, or this morning. But I did bring you Waterloo Solitaire. Um, available on Amazon. It's 28 29 bucks. It's a little high. It's a little high. It's a, it's a little more than I would like to pay. But nothing that I think that is um, stupid out of control, right? If it's a good game, whether it's in book form, whether it's in... Uh, Whatever, it's a good game. So there it is. Maybe I'll play that in the next couple of days. I'm talking about having some ice storm. I, man, as nice as it's been the last couple of days, an ice storm would be strange. But I've seen worse. Should have been down in a. It should have been down a marathon. But yeah. So, but it's like it's probably in the fifties now. So, who knows? All right, y'all. Have a great day. Be careful out there. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.